Warning, graphic pest control video ahead. Do not watch if you might be offended. If, however, you really like watching pest control videos, then hello again and welcome to the Squirrel Hunter channel. Please continue and watch us as we control pest populations with silenced air rifles here in the UK. If you have any questions, can you please check the description below first to see if it's already been answered and for some useful links. Thank you. Here's a bit of footage from a couple of years ago. This person who owns this house is a good friend of one of the other people we shoot for. She's having trouble with squirrels. One of which is they destroyed her tree, eaten all the buds off this, ruined it. A nice little garden, a lawn. It's surrounded by farmland, it's out in the countryside. Lovely spot, beautiful location. It's only a couple of houses in the near area. So I've come out this afternoon with my daughter for a look around, see what we can do to help the situation, if anything. It's a pretty place. I just got to get my bearings on where I think the squirrels are going to be. Like I said, it's surrounded by countryside. There is a few rabbits getting into this area as well, but it's squirrels that are the main problem. And just because squirrels are here, I brought my Theoban Rapid 2.2 calibre just in case I spot one and get a shot on. This was taken by my daughter as I was looking up a tree. I'm pretty sure I saw a squirrel run up there. They seem a bit skittish. So we decided to set up a couple of little bird feeders in the middle of the lawn. There they are. It's been a week since we put them there with food in. Both are empty. On closer inspection, when you look at them, the ones had a great big hole chewed in it. So they're definitely coming out into the middle of the lawn. Not that it's ginormous. So I'm thinking they're running along the hedgerow, maybe darting out. So the next obvious step to make is to put one of our feeders on the ground, in the lawn, with the owner's permission that is, drive a little stake in, use that piece of wood for stability, ditch the other pieces of wood. This has all happened over the last week or so. You can see in the distance I've ringed something as I was setting up the feeder. We've got a squirrel. The things you see when you don't have your gun, eh? did take a bit of video of this just to see how tame he was. How skittish are these squirrels? It wouldn't sit for me when I had the gun in my hand. See how close I can get to him or her. This is just for interest's sake, really. Walking very, very slowly indeed, as you can tell. Let's see what he does. There we go, we just started to move off now. Well, the feeder seemed to be a bit of a success. As you can see the levels drop like a stone. Time to pay it a visit. And here I am, fresh in the morning. I've got the Theoban Rapid in 2.2 caliber. I'm sat in the hide, just about first light, waiting for the squirrels to turn up. I've deliberately picked this position. The house is directly behind me. And I'm shooting down into the ground. I've already told the owner I should be here first light set up in her garden so if she has to come up the garden for any reason she should do it the day before give me a few hours to see if i can get some squirrels to sit on this feeder before i left the feeder i put a bit of wheat on that log just in case one sits there always helps to put little patches down in various spots i find here we have yet another robin all seem to find their way to our feeders do you like to see a robin while I'm out and about? It's normally a good sign. Now we have our robin friend sat on the lumps of wood I removed. I only left the one behind, if you remember. That's at the side of my hide to the right. The sun is just rising. And here our first victim turns up. I can't remember where he came from, but I'm willing to bet he shot out of the bushes to the right. It's a couple of years ago now. Quite sure what time it is, but you can see there's no sun on the grass. It's probably still quite early. I put that wheat towards the front edge of the log for a reason, so it didn't turn their back on me. And there he's sat up nice now. So I'll take him a nice headshot. I can't remember what pellets I'm using. It's going to be one of three. It's going to either be JSB Exacts, Hunter Extremes, or Predator Polymags. I can't remember which one it was. Unfortunately, it's definitely dead. It's kicked off to the side.
If you want to know why they do that, look at the link in the description. Explains why. That squirrel won. It's definitely on the deck. And the farmer's getting their sheep fed by the sound of it. Something's going on. Here we have another squirrel. It's on the bench to the right. That was somewhere I should have put some wheat by the look of it. There we go. It's coming straight across the ground. Can't tell if it's seen me or not. It sits there like that, it could be in trouble. Looks like I've made my mind up, I'm going to shoot him, and then typically he's going to wander across. Will he investigate the body or not? Does he care? Not really. This girl seems to be one that wants to mess me about. It's gone from one I thought was going to come straight to feed to one that I think is going to do something weird. It ends up standing behind that log. An inordinate amount of time, so I sped this bit up. And then it starts to wander to the right. I decided now that I might have to shoot it where it is. It just pauses long enough. Which it did. Good laid crack as the pellet hits home. It might have come back to feed. I know it was preach waiting. It wasn't jumping about and moving quickly. It wasn't startled at all. I decided to take the shot as it presented itself. I was obviously tracking it with a rifle at the time. It's hard to tell sometimes. It's easier on a big screen looking at the video of recording, but when I'm looking at it in hide, it's only what I can see with my eyes. And even with the video zoomed in, I still want to look at a small screen. So I'll take another shot at it, just to be on the safe side. You can see that bush shaking. A hazel bush, the squirrels just run into it. It sits in there for quite some time. So I pretty much cut the video. Rather than let you wait till it runs back out. That's why it's magically run out and sat on that log. That wasn't a good reaction, was it? sort of wrong vibes I think. I just shot that one on the floor twice. That's not a good reaction from that squirrel. Tough little creatures. That's why you go for headshots. Gotta make sure you hit the brain if you can. So it's got all the signs it's going to mess me about. So I might have to go for a shot in a second. And completely miss it. Well, I'm thinking that's headshot movement. And the squirrel can't quite work out what happened. So I've decided to bide my time a bit more. It's hovering really on alert and steady. Hasn't quite worked out, it's in danger yet. Trying to get its attention. Yeah, see that one on the floor? That's why it's behaving oddly towards it. Right, we killed it outright. I've got that third squirrel now. We'll have to go and pick these up and make sure they're all dead. The second squirrel that was convulsing. And two pellets in the head. Obviously unconscious. Involuntary movements. Spasming up. I'm going to walk over there now, take the rifle, and make sure of any of them that aren't dead. Even that short grass, it's quite difficult to see them. Point blank to the head, I think. Just to be on the safe side. They will be being picked up and removed 
from there back to the hide. Wouldn't dream of touching one of those things if I didn't think it was dead. That's the wood spasmin. The lovely bullet hole or pellet hole even in its head. No bullets involved. There they are, all dead in my hide. Let's see what the rest of the day brings. So the sun's starting to break its way into the garden. It's all new to me. I'm on a learning curve. Mostly which way the squirrels are going to come. Is this feeder in a decent spot? Could it be in a better position? Seems to be drawing them out of the woodwork so far. This is squirrel four. Is that on the lid? It's going to sit there like that. I'm going to have to take a shot on him. It's more like it. It's a nice steady squirrel. I'm not upset with that reaction. Just nerves. See, even short grass like that, it's difficult to see the squirrel once it's laid down. A good old long looker. Not sure where that other one wasn't completely dead. I to notice some movement right at the far end of the garden near the greenhouse. Got a rabbit there. I later discovered they come over from the farmer's field behind. Try and raid the garden. No way I'm going to shoot up there from this range. Not all that glass behind. See it's still hopping around there. Comes anywhere near me. That'll be on the table. There he is. Nice big healthy bunny. If he stays up there he'll be fine. Comes anywhere down within range with a safe backstop. We should be having rabbit for dinner. Anyway, enough talk of bonus rabbits. We didn't come here for them. Though we will take them if they do present themselves. It's these things we came here to remove. Rabbits aren't currently climbing trees and chewing all the buds off. These destructive little creatures. That one's not that happy the way it's shaking its tail. It's another good idea to pick up. All the corpses out of the way. Get one that's a bit on the nervous side. This tend to have to make you wait longer. I wish I'd have put some wheat on that bench. Should have done that when I went out to pick up, I think. Looking like it could be a shot, it's going to sit there. Nope. Do we live in hope? Is it going to come back? No idea, is it, when it walks away? You can definitely smell what the other one was. They've never been put off by the smell of blood before. We've had feeders absolutely doused in the stuff from headshots that have bled out everywhere. And still they come to feed, so I don't believe for a second it can smell the blood. I think it's smelling where the other squirrels were. It's almost exactly in the right spot, isn't it? Moving nice and slow. Yet again, the feed is not working as such. I'm trying to get it to lift its head now. It's no good. You see that head movement? Probably been caught out once today by it. This is the trouble when they don't come to feed on the feeder. If I had loads of kills in this video, I'd probably fast forward a lot of this, but because there's not so many, didn't think it would hurt to show you it in real time. I'll try and explain my decision processes. If it doesn't sit still, or I can't get it to sit still for any reason, I can't really take the shot. 
we'll have to walk away and live to fight another day. We'll have to get it next time. The same, you stuck a pellet in it and it will die later, utter rubbish. If you shoot a squirrel anywhere other than a vital point, it will just suffer and probably survive. We're not in the business of making stuff suffer. It's either a clean kill or not at all. Here we go. Clamp to the side of the tree. That is tempting, isn't it? He's moving his head a bit too much. If I manage to time it correctly. I'll wait for it to see if it kicked out into the open. But she didn't. Because I couldn't tell the shot was good. A healthy dose of paranoia gets me to leave the confines of my hide again. Go ahead and see if it's dead or not. Unfortunately, I managed to knock that across. I'll give it another one just for good measure. Pick up the corpse. Come back. That's Mr. Rabbit. Decided to venture further down the lawn. That was a silly thing to do, wasn't it? I'm being extra especially careful not to move too erratically. I'm pretty sure that there's no wind to take my scent to it, so it shouldn't know I'm there. As long as I don't move too erratically, you won't have an idea of where it's sat. Just weighed up the pros and cons of it. Is it going to come closer or not? I'm starting to think it isn't. I'm also starting to think that's well within the range of this rifle zero. The camera's to the left of where I'm shooting from. The angle I've got is daylight from where the camera is. So I'm going to have to take a shot. I'm pretty happy that the shot's not going to cause a problem. When I say no problem, there's no problem for anything other than a rabbit. Massive problem for the rabbit. Playing between the eye and the ear. It's quartering towards me. So the pellet's gone straight into the brain. I'm pretty sure it's a good shot, but I do go out and check on it. See all the blood in the ear. Lots of brain damage there. See the pellets. Struck it between the eye and the ear, a little bit on the low side if I'm being critical. I fetched a rabbit back and while I was out I decided to put some wheat on that bench finally. I wasn't really thinking, I put it too far back that wheat is, it should be closer to the front edge. I don't want to give them a chance of turning their back on me. <coughs> There's my hay fever surfacing as I come back. Frighten everything in the near vicinity. We bring in the rabbit back. Zooming on the wheat. That's Mr. Robbins come back again. Fed the only bread that did turn out that day. After a bit of a wait, I spot this fella coming in. I did investigate later on. There's a nice hedgerow that runs along there. There's a small wood down the bank behind me. I was never sure who that belonged to. You get big hedgerows, you still get quite a few squirrels. See if they come straight in to feed or not. Good. I should wonder if it's sussed out my hide. Let me 
fidgeting around in the hide. Probably getting my rifle and tracking the squirrel's approach. You can rely on them sitting on the feeder. Easier just to focus the camera on that area and just hope that the squirrel's in shot when you shoot it. As you can see, I just tried to stop it by clicking my tongue and nearly frightened it away. It's a rubbish idea, wasn't it? Still, you never know till you try. point I wasn't actually worried what the camera was doing, I was too busy tracking it with a scope, looking for an opportunity for a shot. Much easier when they come straight to the feeder and sit there. I've left the screen to the right. I think I might have made a decision to shoot at it for a second then and here we go. Oh, as it's moved its head, I think. Here we go. It sits still here, which it does. Still enough for a shot. Let's kick that a view. Camera before I pick that one up. I think I might have done. Tell how good the shot was. Yet another one's coming down the hedgerow. This is late in the morning now. These would be what we call travellers. They're not foraging, they're living somewhere else, a way away. By the time they get to the food source, they know to be here. They usually forage their way there. I've had them walk past the height before we you know. Watch them digging in the ground. Even though they know they're going to a food source, they still have it in grained in them for millions of years of evolution. Dig away. Even a common sense says I can just go there and eat some food. I don't guess at what that one's doing now. Maybe sniffing the ground. What that last one was. To tell really. Just about to see it. I'm just gonna have to be patient and wait for it to turn up. Coming in the right direction. Got a few smell what the other one was. First one or two I shot in that area. where being patient kicks in. This one was boring as you could tell, so I sped it up. Sometimes they're like that. Other times they come tanking straight in. Not many have come to the feeder. Maybe they would have left it long enough. As soon as they present the shot, I want to shoot them. I'm trying all I can to stop that when it's trapped. There he is. He appears to wander it off towards the side of the screen, onto that bench. And guess what he was doing? You guessed it. He found some wheat and decided to sit still and eat it. Unfortunately, I didn't realise he was off camera. My apologies. Last squirrel of the day. He goes and hops himself under that seat in the darkness. I can't see in there properly. I pretty much decided I was going to go after this one. There. 
No, I can't see it to shoot at. And they're trying to zoom in with the camera. No joy there. So I ended up going and adding him to my pile. It wasn't long after I went home. Not a bad haul for the first session. Quite pleased with that. I'll catch you again next time. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like, subscribe and share. Thank you.